boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm for classic and welcome to Pen Chart. So for today what I do have in it is Death Stranding, a game developed by Kojima Productions, which is using the cinema engine, the same engine behind Horizon Zero Dawn. So you might be asking yourself, the first question is, why the hell I'm on with testing Death Stranding now on the MX-130? The answer for that is, because the MX-130 was never able to start the game because it is an unsupported graphic card and right now and as you can see i'm running the game at 720p all right and using the vol settings as you can see i'm just going to put in here the vol settings and as you can see it is using more than 2 gigabytes of vram and it is working all right yes performance might be a little bit subpar but it is working what i can't really promise to you is that you will be able to play or to finish the game like this all right because this is a big workaround that somebody on the internet just found out or just developed to work around the limitations uh, from this graphic card although yeah let me just get back to the optional to the option settings and i'm going to enable fidelity fx so if you enable fidelity fx for the game your resolution scaling gets a little bit lower and the game forces TAA up to you. Alright, so what happens really is that you get a performance boost, but your resolution will be worse. TAA filters all the jaggies, but unfortunately TAA on this game causes a lot of, uh, a lot of um, blur and ghosting. Alright, so looking to the requirements, this game asks for a GTX 1050 with 3GB of VRAM, a CPU with AVX extraction set, and also not to mention the GTX, I mean the graphic cards needs to support DirectX 12 with feature level 12. So what happens with the MX130 is that it does support DirectX 12, but it only supports at the feature level of 11.0. So what really happened before is that every time you try to start this game, the game would crash and it would default to the Intel. But now we with the NVIDIA, if you go with the low settings, you can expect a frame rate of uh, something in between the 20 to 30 frames per second. And if you go with Fidelity FX and using low settings, you can expect a frame rate above 25 frames per second. This was registered in uh, gameplay moments. During cutscenes, it might be a little bit more demanding. So even if you go with the low settings and you get these uh, kind of minimum frames around 20 frames per second, I still do think that it is um, it is enough for this game. I know it's not great to play a game at 20 frames per second. I fully understand that. But this is a game where you will spend most of your time just walking. You won't be killing or pointing at... Um, or shooting guns where you need to point at enemies. No, that's not really the case. So I think that despite 20 frames per second it is bad, it is something really possible. So just pick your poison and decide if you want to go with low settings, uh, enjoying a sharper image, or if you want to go with low settings fidelity effects, having the game a little bit more blurrier like you are seeing in here, but having um, a bigger boost in performance. All right, so let's not talk how the hell I was able to put this to work. So first of all, I want to say a big thanks to Alex Mercer. I, I think he is one of my subscribers. I'm not really sure if he is subscribed to the channel or not, but he was a viewer that was actually very interested in trying to make this game to run on Death Stranding. And it was, it seems that he was tireless trying to find solutions online to make this game to work on the MX-130. I, I honestly, I never believed that this was possible, but he, he, he did found out that somebody on YouTube did share two DLL files, which made the game to work around the limitations of the MX-130 and makes the game to be able to start. So what I can't really promise about these workarounds is that I'm not really sure if at certain point on this game, um, the game will crash or the game will fail to load or uh, I can't guarantee that you will be able to finish the game with this workaround all right because I don't know I really really don't know but what I do know is that it is working all right at the moment but I'm not really sure if at some point on the game the game will crash or it will display visual corruptions or issues I, I really don't know that but again I want to say a big 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 thanks to Alex Mercer and you should also you should also say thanks to him because if it wasn't for him this video wouldn't exist and probably um, 
you couldn't play the game, but now you actually can. So how can you make this to work? So you just need to go to the description of the video. There are two links to Mega Cloud. You just need to open those links and download the files to your PC. Then pick up those uh, those two DLL files which you did download from those links and put it inside the Death Stranding folder. So you just need to overwrite the existing files that was there. Um, by the vanilla game and just overwrite with the files that you did download. Then you start the game and you enjoy it on your MX-130. And despite, again, the performance, it is not perfect by any means, but again, it is working. So I, I believe that this, for the, for the most part, this will be a very good Christmas present for many people out there. I know it's a little bit sooner to talk about Christmas, but... And I'm not really sure if everyone in here enjoys Christmas because I have people from all around the world in here. But still, this should be a very, very nice gift for you, for all of you guys. All right. So, guys, I think that's all that I want to talk about these workarounds and technical parts. As for the game itself, uh, I didn't really prepare any speech. Well, I, I never do anyway. But... Um, Death Stranding, it is kind of a game that you either love it or you either hate it. And it seems that there are a lot of people that complains about Death Stranding and they say that it doesn't deserve the score of it because it's just a walking simulator or some sort of a Uber Eats simulator which you need to traverse from point A to point B. Well, I don't really get why they hate because... I have Aero Truck Simulator and it is a game that I actually do love despite I don't play that much. And it is a game which the objective of the game it is just going from point A to point B. So it's no different than this game. And in fact, this game offers more stuff. So despite you just traverse the map from point A to point B to the river stuff, there is also online connectivity, which you can actually uh, get advantage of stuff that other players um, did create throughout the world or did build to help them out. You can enjoy those stuff. So there is an online connection to help you out. Um, that is also the story that uh, I know that also many people don't enjoy the Kojima quirks and story styles, but that is still a story on the Kojima in here because of Kojima, because Kojima uh, loves stories and despite they are, uh, they are all very weird, that is a story in game and that is also the awesome soundtrack from Kojima. Uh, which I actually do like, which they, he usually picks up bands uh, that nobody knows, but usually they have very, very, very good music anyway. So, guys, I think that's all that I want to talk about Death Stranding. Hope you did enjoy the video so far. I'm, I think you did, because this enables you to play Death Stranding with a card that it is unsupported. Again, thank a lot Alex Mercer for the help. Uh, I really hope you find a solution for Assassin's Creed Valhalla when it gets out because it, it will also require a feature level 12.0 and this card doesn't have. So <laughs> let's hope you find a solution like this too. So again, thank you about all uh, for watching and I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye. Bridges corpse disposal. Sam Porter, I presume? Right. Not the touchy-feely type. Talk about said you had some kind of phobia. Bridges corpse disposal? What happened? Look, gotta get a move on. I'll explain as we go. Come on. I'm gonna take a look. He's got a date with the incinerator. How long since he flatlined? You don't know the exact TOD, but I'd say it's been upwards of 40 hours. He 
He was in quarantine. Not sick. This is a suicide. Oh, Jesus. We're just lucky we found him at all. Got him on ice ASAP, but who knows when he'll go necro. Where are you taking him? Uh, closest incinerators to the north. This route's crawling with BTs. Sure you can't use another? I wish I could, but there's no time. Then just burn the poor bastard right here. You put all that Kyrillium in the air so close to town? Can't do it. Better that than trying for the incinerator. Hey, we can do this. We just need someone like you with dooms. Well, he's already in the first stages of necrosis. If we don't hurry, this place is a crater. So how about it? Can we count on you? Then Bridges hereby enters into a contract with Sam Porter. Sam. Just Sam. And I can't spot BTs. Just sends them. That's why we came prepared. A bridge baby, huh? With its help and you, we'll be able to stay one step ahead of them. Makes me feel like shit every time. You are plugging into the other side. Freaks me out, too. Roll out!